All right, and welcome back. So now that I've got all of my basic supplies, so everything on this page is being fully automated, it's time to work on some buildings. Now the buildings are going to be pulling from some of all of this stuff here, plus some of this over here. So it makes sense to be building some assemblers for that kind of to the left side of the screen here. Actually, before I even do that, I think one thing, let's see what kind of upgrades. I think these require science. One of them I don't think, yeah, okay, so I can take this one. Um, I need to grab some plates from here. Let's grab the right thing. And we'll just take a stack of those. So we'll do that science. While that's well, this upgrade is coming up. Um, I think this requires science too. It does, and this does it as well, I believe. Yep. So this stuff requires actual science. Coming back to here, though, this requires these components, which we are now building. So I'll go ahead and enqueue them. Oops. So after this is done, I'll be able to do that research as well. And then once that research is completed, I'll actually no longer need to build any more of the science myself, I believe. So like all of this is going through the manual. Once I build um, the other one, it's gonna give me another building that I'll need to manufacture. But again, all of these, I only need to do a small one, one box, um, one entry per kind of thing. So that gives me some more core energy. Um, let's see. So first of all, I'm trying to think of how we're going to build our machine. So um, let's just look at what is probably the simplest to string together. That's going to be probably the storage, actually. If I did that, um, or one of these, and this, these are all like two-part things. Now the thing with it, I'm going to take them from these boxes because, again, I'm going to be limiting how many things go into building these, so it doesn't matter if it steals from these at first. Um, because it's going to be full up pretty quickly, and then this box will fill. So, um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to need to move around my power grid as well. While I'm doing this, let me just get rid of some more of these trees really quick. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get any of those out, too, now that I see that. just because this is in the way. I wonder if I should move this over. How much space do I have? I think I've got enough that I can take all of this. I do. Let me just take this really quick. Do that. And move that over one. Somehow that gave me oil. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know where the oil came from on there, but unless maybe it was chopping down some of this stuff gave me oil. Um, anyway, this will now let me run um, a belt out from here. And then, of course, I have the back ends of these. So um, when I build another one of these, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to build another smelter to get to the bricks back there. Um, I think that's how I want to do it. I could move that over as well if I wanted to sneak a belt out, but it would still be pretty messy through this place. So 
Yeah, I'm just going to let that keep it storage. I can add another smelter on. I've got plenty of blocks coming through and then use that for when I need to connect over. For example, when I'm making these on there. So probably the first thing that I want to kind of work on. Hmm. I need to manually create another one of these. First, because whatever I'm going to be using. Well, actually, let me grab this stuff first. Let me get this going. So, take that. And then, take that. And I'll get this up to speed. This will give me another thing that I need to automate, but that's what it's there for. Alright, so now we have these two things. So just to show you, that gives us this that has to be automated as well. This will use the glass. And again, I don't need tons of these, but I do need some. So that's why one box worth is worth getting. Um, so what I want to do, let's just drop this down over here. Let's go ahead and build. Um, this will need some boxes. So throw that in there. I'll just build one stack worth. So right now, if I wanted to, I could just um, use this with all the supplies that are right nearby and manually do this through uh, through this uh, machine here. But I want to automate as much as possible. And again, I don't care about speed at this point. I don't care about efficiency. That's gonna. This is just my starter base. This gets me going. This gives me supplies, and then when I'm done with that, I can work on building actual real stuff. Uh, once I'm done with that, so, um, so now that I got that, let me go ahead and build a couple of assemblers. So I'm gonna need gears, plates, and these things. So. I still have 190, so I don't really need more of those. I have 60 of these. Um, 38 plates. Actually, I have enough that I can build a couple of a couple of these. Um, just see how much this gives me. Six of those. Um, so now I have the assemblers, and I have the means to store things. So let me get rid of that. So now the question is, where am I going to put these? Because this is a narrow piece of land over here. Let's just look up here really quick. I think if we make this first... And technically, at this point, it's all going to be spaghetti if I do that. So, even though you don't really need a hub, I'm going to make kind of a mini hub here just so that things don't get too confusing. And I can go that way with it. So, okay, I'll just do that then. Um... And that will let me adjust this so I can get this to where I need it to be as well. So if we move that out, I'm going to want space. I don't have sorters or anything yet, do I? Actually, I need to go to here. Um, I think those come with this one. Correct. So I don't have sorters yet. I don't really need to worry about them too much. See, this is not powering anything. That is pretty close to up turbines. Let me see if I can get that over to here. Yeah, that 
Alright, hit that there. That should work. Actually, I do kind of want to move this over, so let me see. If I remove that, I'm going to need to have something over there, I think. Let me just see what... I can move this over to here. Okay, so that way this will have power. Um, move that to about there. Move that to there. Some more plates. Let's come over here. We'll grab that. We'll top that up. And in fact, that's going to be this and this. Now that I'm doing a lot of construction, then uh, I need to start worrying about the power in the suit. But for that, I've got coal right here. In fact, let me just um, see what, what I need in the miner again. I'm going to need... Um, that, 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 and then how many gears do I need? I need two gears. So I'm not going to, I'm going to take a full stack, but I'm not going to um, put the full stack in because I don't need a full stack of miners at this point. So first of all, let me get rid of that oil. Let's burn it. And then once this fills up, I can just uh, grab some coal to uh, keep burning. Okay. Let's take that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I've got several of these now. Um, first thing I need to do is move this out of the way. And actually, I think maybe I'll just leave this here as this.
that's the case, I know I want that over to there. And I want this over to there. Back that up a bit. Boom. Up. To there. Down. To there. The only problem with this is that it has to go over this. I think I actually want to move this just a little bit over. It's going to be too close for that. Not for that, I don't think. Oh, uh, that puts it on the, the T section. Okay. Might have to figure out how I'm going to do this. With yeah, uh, If I had my splitter, it'd be a lot easier. But I don't have that yet. So, what I want to do... I have an idea. Let's get rid of this part of it. And you'll see what I'm doing with this in a second, but make sure that that's up one. Down. Wanna make everything look even at this point, so. <laughs> I mean, it ultimately doesn't really matter because. Uh, this is just a temporary thing, but um, so what I'm going to do here is actually this, where it moves that over. Um, I'm going to need power for this to work. So for power, I am going to actually want just one of these is fine. So. Two of those and that. I'll leave it unset for now, but let me see this. Will I be able to fit? And I should. Looks like I can only go one side or the other for this power grid. It doesn't ultimately matter, but um, I actually kind of probably have it better here. I think. Okay, so that will go into there, that will go into there, that will go into there. Now, I don't have a ton of stuff, so for now, let me just get that going. Let me get that going. And then this is going to be making these. And then you can see that anything that it doesn't take on here will continue on the quote unquote bus and come over to here. And 
that's why I made it the way that I did. And the same thing on this section here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some more of this. Right there. Now I have some energy for a while. Um, okay, so with that, what should be the next thing? So we're going to have, have as many conveyor belts as we want. That's going to be the first thing. I think we want to build this next. And that's going to require this one over here. So I'll go ahead and start this running. And then it's going to need this. I can probably... Probably do that on this side, I think. Um, in one sense, it really doesn't matter. Um, actually, that belt's going to be too close, so we do want to move this back, give it some buffer. Does it work? No. That won't work. I mean, I probably could get it to work, but I don't want to do that yet. So this goes up, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it over in here. Out these. Oh, I just realized I also need. Before I go too far. Yeah, let me just put this here. And that. Okay, cross like that. And I'm going to need. build some more of these here so throw that on there throw that on there I'll take as many as it gives me on this and then this storage I only oh actually for the belts I want everything so I'll let it fill up because I'm going to need, well, actually, I, even with it filling up, I don't really need everything. I don't know how big the stack is, so I'm going to do about like that for now because I, I don't need that super full, but I do need some of them. Okay, that doesn't. Um, so next up, let's just go ahead and build right here and yep I'm gonna need that I guess for the moment let me just leave this down here for now this I want to build that so we'll toss that in there we'll toss that in there let's do a handful of them that should be enough five on I'll just leave that for now. Um, put that there. And I'm probably going to need another one. About there. Alright, so this is going to require... It's going to be this one. So. Let me make sure that this fits in there. Sometimes when it's on these weird angles, it, yeah, it does weird things like that. I actually think it's going to be better. One 
over. And do like that for now. And then I need this one. going to need to cross here. I'm going to need this. So now you can see why I have that. So it's going to come across from here. We're going to do that. I don't know if I have enough space for it to do it, and I do actually. Oops. Now let's make sure that this goes through. It doesn't. That's annoying. Ah, and also clip this. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Again, I don't think it will. Because of the weird bends, uh, since this is on a globe, I'm going to try to insert it from this side instead. So, um. Now this, I want to get up. And the question is, does this work? It does. I think that'll destroy tree too. Where it is? There it is. Get rid of that. Now that goes to there, and then we want that to there. So it's a bit of spaghetti, but it's functional for my use. that up and now we've got these being formed okay. now because those are finally being formed I can go ahead and work on getting these out there Oh, 
So yeah, I want to put my limiter on here. Again, probably five. That's what I got on here, four. I can't imagine, so five is gonna be a thousand, right? So it's 200 times five. So yeah, I can't imagine I'll use more than that at once. I probably don't need even this many. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this foliage. Or foliage, I guess, probably correct. That's it. <laughs> okay, so with that stuff going this direction. I think it's kind of funny when I mentioned that you don't need a bus, and then I kind of just basically made one anyway. <laughs> okay, so we've got these two completed. We've got all of this except for this, which I'm not going to worry about yet because I want to complete everything else first. Um, let's see, probably... Do I want Tesla Towers next? Because that would be these two, I believe. No, Tesla is this one so it's the outer edge and the outer edge <laughs> and I got space here to throw in some stuff too if I want to do that um, let me see if there's anything that's kind of more on this end I think everything's going to require plates though yeah everything is going to require plates so plates are going to be definite bottleneck um, with all of this but again I want this stuff first so what will be most important after that that I'll need a lot of probably I probably would be these next on there so let me I'm gonna skip this anyway because of the coal being there when I harvest the coal I'll go up that way um, assuming by that point I'm not going to just destroy all of this anyway because once I get into the mid game and beyond then it's gonna be in it's gonna be pretty much done um, I won't need any of this is what I'm trying to say there so how much room do I have kind of like the idea of keeping it on this side really because of this well again once these are full I'm, I'm not really gonna have much of a bottleneck but I was thinking I could even add on another iron mine here with the smelter and inject it onto here but um, once I'm done once I'm done with all of this stuff I'm not really gonna need any of this anymore So let's not worry about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this. Let's put it about here. And then when I come back to this one. Oh, I actually have some of these already. So um, let me just move this up. I was going to put it right in the way. I'm going to need it no later than here. Hmm. Put it there because this is going to turn in at that point. No, actually I'm going to split it off here and come in from this side. Um, 
let's have him carry cross. I actually don't even need to do that. <laughs> As I'm seeing this, I actually am just one space away, right? Okay, so this is going to be this thing here. Yeah. Now, the only question is where I'm going to put this. I think, actually, if I cross over down here. Oops, wrong one. That. Hmm, cut down my tree for me. I probably don't need all this wood, so it's probably not a big deal. Now, from here... If we go over... Do I have enough space down there? I think I do. Carry it beyond. I think that is. And that's going to be older, so we need to go there. And down. I think this will go under it. It does go under. the power grid is looking on here. Yeah, I need to increase the number of those. Those are going to need Or the th third one. Third outside, so. Actually, do I even need this? Coming through. Looks like survey says no, I don't. Hmm, okay. Well, let's have a clean this up.
Yeah, um, so I'll store those. Um, I'll leave this spot open because I'll need to bring the stone down. And so, like, when I bring it down, I can cross it over here and put it into this spot. But um, I only need the stone when I'm getting over to this, I believe. Don't need it on... Yeah, and I'll need glass for this one. So glass will need to come over as well. If, um, if I keep this on the, like, kind of the mall that I'm making, which I probably will. I'll probably do that, so... Well, no big deal. Um, let's see. What I want to do is then... Um, this is going to be the next most important thing. I wonder... So I'm going to need three items on it. Everything except this middle one. as you can see this is where more steel would be necessary if I was um, trying to use this like this is part of why I'm not gonna put the um, I'm not gonna put the research the matrix lab onto this uh, I'm going to build a dedicated thing for this at least for the steel portion um, actually, I'll probably make a dedicated thing for this either way um, right now, I'm only concerned about getting these machines up and running. So, um, anything that takes all of it. Yeah, this takes all of them. That takes the stone. So, this is the only thing that takes all of it. Oh, did I uh, put a limit on here? I didn't. So let me make sure. I only need one stack of these at a time, I'm sure. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Put it approximately on the same level. This is going to be this one. that this is raised, come to here, then lower, come to there. This instead.
don't really like my options on this, but I think I have to do... Probably from up here. This is going to be narrowing anyway, it looks like, so I'll do that. And this. Come up. And it's, it's going on this part, regardless of what I want. I need to switch that over to keep that. So this is north or south then, just because of the weird globe effect that's on here. That also means I'm gonna need more in there. Then we'll do that. Actually, let me go ahead and just take the stack and let that rebuild. Because I know it'll it'll take some more time to rebuild everything back up, but I'm going to need it to. Um, I'll take another stack of these for that same reason. So this will slow down because I just did that, but that's fine. I wonder... How close am I to the pole? Not that close. It would be better if I could go east to west with this, but again, this is my starter base. It doesn't really matter. So now I've got this, 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 and this. So the main stuff that I wanted to get done is done in this episode. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day on this one. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Peace out.